Today it's beach cleanup day. So I got here to Jungja Beach. It's a nice windy day. Uh, we hope is arranging a, a cleaning operation at the beach. There's a bunch of people out here already uh, picking up garbage. Surprising few. I'd expect there to be a few more. But I figured I was gonna head out a little bit and help out clean the environment because I hate dirty beaches as well. And there is stuff like bags and all kinds of junk, seafood. <laughs> The beach is not entirely too horrible. There is a bunch of little garbage here and there. A lot of it is plasticky. Uh, a lot of it is seaweedy, which probably doesn't really count. And we should probably leave it alone. Like this, I don't even know. What, I don't even know what that is. I think this is jellyfish or a seaweed. I think it's just bleached seaweed. Ever since I came to Ulsan. It's pretty windy at the beach. I hope the I hope the mic doesn't pick up too much of it. Ever since I came to Ulsan, I found that Ulsan was a very had a very tightly knit foreigner community, uh, and so we hope is a volunteer organization that um, arranges all kinds of volunteering programs, uh, and it's uh, operated by Nate Mandigo. I believe that's the right right pronunciation of your name, Nate. He works in cooperation with the uh, Ulsan city government, uh, city hall, and they arrange a bunch of things like uh, going out to the local orphanage to hang out with the kids there, spend some time with them on Christmas and on during other holidays. They arrange events such as this one, cleaning up beaches. Right now amongst the people here um, are the local police constables. Well, I don't know if they're constables, but they're, they're guys working for the, for the police force and uh, I guess possibly some of their wives as well. I'm actually a little bit surprised that there aren't more people here. It's been a pretty rainy week and it's finally cleared up. A little bit it's overcast but it's not raining it's chilly because we're at the beach but overall it's a pretty nice day and for all the fanfare and all the talk about coming down here people coming down here and contributing to the cause that I've seen on on the social media I don't know where all the people are the only people here are literally like there's a couple of families Nate's family uh, another friend of his and most of them are the police where are the volunteers? Too bad, because it's a really nice day. <laughs> and you are, sorry, right? Jack. Jack. Nice Jack, yeah. What's your story, Peter? As in, like, my wife. Just in Korea, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know, the regular stuff. I'm, uh, I'm sorry, do you mind if I record? Uh, no, you do. Right, right. <laughs> uh, cool. This is my thing. I, I, whenever I go to the beach with my kids, yeah. I spend the first half an hour cleaning up the rubbish. And the family's just swimming in the water. Yeah. There's black bags floating by. And so this is something I'm, I'm really glad that we have done this. Statistics are statistics, but I heard one the other day that by 2050, mm. there'll be more plastic in the ocean by weight than fish. Is that right? Yeah, I mean, you know, statistics are always can be, you know, proved or just Hello? Be proved or disproved. But it's, yeah. uh, you know, and when you find out that, you know, children are eating may contain the plastic you've disposed of in the sea, you know, it's quite shocking. Yeah, it does shock me when I come to the beaches sometimes and you see like oh, stuff like this. Oh, it's, it's, um, but granted, a lot of it probably gets like washed up from somewhere else, not necessarily well, being tossed yeah, out right here. Yeah, quite often you'll see it's still Korean. Yeah, 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 Korean. I mean like, I don't know, yeah, other yeah, places. Another beach, yeah, 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 right, right. Yeah. 
are actually, you know, damaging the lungs of children and causing asthma. Like, and the highest percentage now in the world. In Korea? You know, in South Korea. Wow. You get that. Right, so I was just talking to Peter. Peter is big on uh, environmental issues, which is the exact kind of people we need in this country, man, or in the world, really. He was informing me that uh, Korea is, when it comes to what car pollution, Uh, have a uh, have a very detrimental effect on children's uh, lung lungs, things, especially causing asthma-related problems. And as recently as this month, 2019, it was shown, and I'm not sure if it was across the world, it was just OECD countries. Right. South Korea is actually the worst country in the world. Why is that? It's, I, I, I don't know. But they never, I don't know because too many cars yeah, in it. I, I don't know. I basically, I think uh. obviously they, they, they make their money from making cars, so they're cars. You look. Look, we live here, you see how many cars, there's a lot of cars. There is a lot if of cars. If they're all on the road at once, we would be moving. If they're all parked at once, there's no parking spaces. So yeah. they got the, and I think as well, it's a little bit the attitude towards the most of the mm. you know, they, they just, just, there's no desire to turn anything off. They just they jump out of the car for 20 minutes, pop in the school, talk to the teachers for 20 minutes, the car keeps sitting there, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. What a car left idling for one minute can fill 150 balloons with toxic chemicals. Really? Now, a child's lung capacity is not much bigger than a balloon. Okay, so yeah. that's your car's, that's 150 breaths that child's taken in a minute of toxic fumes from your car alone. I think uh, I read somewhere the uh, current government is trying to um, release like 80,000 hydroelectric cars on the, on uh, the street. Ah, you see them, and, and you know, this, this is the country that could do it. But, yeah, um, they're, I think they're slowly pushing for the yeah, switch. Yeah, I have to be an emphasis on getting some of these, but you, do, you can see some very old bangers just chucking out big yeah. loads of black smoke. Right. In England, that stops. You yeah. Someone say, "Hey, you've got to get rid of that car." Yeah, you know? London's got like specific times and days yeah, during which you cannot drive and drive in yeah, the city, right? Yeah, they've got the, the uh, congestion charges and stuff like that. But again, it's still not good enough. Yeah. You know, the, uh, the world's still, you know, it's controversial. You know, whatever conspiracy. <laughs> the, the car, the world's still controlled by these cars. Yeah. And these oil companies, and we still. Oh no, I agree. I totally still agree. For the vehicle, and England, and even London has these days when. It's just, you know, it's unsafe for children to be outside. Really yeah. is, you know, it really I agree with the conspiracy theories, though, man. Yeah, well... That's pretty much the only reason why we're still running on gas, because you know, I, I, I mean, we have so, electric cars, we yeah. could totally use them. I'm a, I'm a kindergarten teacher, and some days we have days when we can't take the children outside to play, and yeah. they're quick to point the finger at China and yellow dust. It's not the case anymore. No. It's the pollution within Korea that's yeah. causing this. I found a paper on the internet, and what? it's not been published. It's a, a research by a Korean scientist. Said also, rather than clean the air, we'll pay a fine, a monthly fine. I know. Except the toxicity from the pro petrol, pro chemical. Petrol, I don't know what it is. They've got all these factories, industrial factories in here on the coast, producing lots of rubbish. Rather than clean it up and sort it out, they're just happy. It's cheaper, better for them. I pay the fine, carry on producing it. I used to teach the S SK, the guys in charge of the green energy and it whatnot. Ain't good for you, you know what I mean? They get a, a permit for pollution. So how, how many toxic um, particles they can emit each year, right? And so the companies bid for it, they, yeah. and then so if the you know the company with the most money gets the bid, then they go on and sell the allowance to other companies. Right. And apparently that's a lot cheaper to do than purchasing filters for the company. Do you know what I mean? It, it's, <laughs> you know, and, and like I said, and I just said to you now, you know, like the children are going to have major asthmatic problems, and this yeah. country is now the leading country for the worst diagnosed problems asthma related problems in children. I'm really pleasantly surprised with the turnout of this day. Sunny. I got two layers of clothing but I think I'm need to shed one. Nate's not faced, he's in short sleeves and shorts man. It's just past 11 now and the weather's been getting nice and toasty. Sun's nearly reached its zenith and it's warm, so I had to shed a layer of my jacket away. Peter and I are scouring the beach, uh, picking up a bunch of garbage. It's surprising how much garbage there is. Small, tiny little pieces. But man, this area has changed a lot. Like I remember coming here, there was nothing here. These buildings? This is, this sprung up like within the past couple of years. Right there behind me, these buildings, brand new. 
this whole neighborhood, man, over the past, what, three, four years, I think. Korea has changed over the past decade a lot. 11.30 and the activities have concluded. People are gathering here uh, and the trash is being dumped out. So let's have a look how much we've collected. It's a lot of garbage, man. Things turned into a whole big media event, well, so to speak. Because uh, all the people that gathered, all the people that contributed today to the cause, collecting up all the garbage from the beach, which hopefully did some difference. How successful would you say today was? A lot better than not doing it. You saw all the garbage there. So. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of garbage. Yeah. The beach looks clean, but once you get out there and you start looking at all the small stuff, you realize how much how much there really is. Right. I think lots of the Korean or groups or whatever, they pick up some big stuff, but that's not always the problem. And here it's a lot of the small stuff that's the issue. So. Pretty good, and if we keep doing it, it's better that the kids and these guys see. Do you see those guys? Yeah. The police that smoke? Yeah. And they look at all those cigarettes and think, you know, <laughs> I shouldn't be throwing my cigarettes on the floor anymore. Yeah, right. So, yeah, I'd say pretty successful. Ooh, care package. <laughs> what? Say what? Thank you. The police are giving out care packages to the volunteers. Pretty cool. Uh, there's some toothpaste. I don't know, something else by Cacao Friends. A bunch of tiny little plastic containers. So the day's cleanup is concluded. Uh, we're just hanging out because I think the police are bringing some more goodies. I think it's this time coffee. This time it's coffee and I could use some coffee, so I'm gonna stick around, grab my cup and get out of here. And this now truly concludes the entire expedition of garbage seeking. I think everybody's pretty happy. Did you get some coffee delivered from Starbucks? Americano. Pretty good ano. So that's it for today's episode. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment definitely subscribe because it helps out the channel if you want to get involved with we hope the volunteering organization that organized this event uh, you can find them on Facebook and uh, yeah I'll see you in the next one Tada!